Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you my body and facial mocap setup. I know some of y'all have been asking me this, so I'm going to go ahead and show you this preview shoot that I did last Saturday and kind of just walk you through this whole process, all right? All right, so here is the setup. We have the FaceGood P1 right here. We have the X-Sense bag with all the sensors in it. We have a laptop bag, and we have a bag mesh right here that I got that I just bought. All right, and here we have the Mix Pre 3 with some lavalier and then the laptop that I got from like $1,100 uh, Black Friday last year. And what I'm plugging in right here is a Thunderbolt. Okay, and then we have our talent, Ashley, right here. She already has the accent shirt on, which is good. And what I'm prepping on doing is actually putting the antenna on the wireless helmet right here, as you see. Okay, so what I'm doing now is grabbing this mesh bag that I got online because I actually just washed the straps. So I'm going to give that to her while I'm setting up the helmet and everything else. So basically what she's doing is she's separating everything because the x sense of when the starter comes with straps instead of like a one-piece suit. So she's just going to separate that for me while I'm pretty much taking care of everything else. Alright, and what I'm doing here right now is I'm setting up OBS. Now right now, I'm using the Ultra Studio Recorder since the my laptop doesn't have a PCI Express. Uh, I was not able to use Avatari with this setup right here in my laptop. I think it's my laptop uh, that's not compatible. But what I am doing is I'm going to be piping in my Ultra Studio Recorder into my laptop and have OBS run. Right, and then she's still separating the straps. And what I'm doing here now is after she's done strapping up, as you can see, she's got straps all over her leg right here. I am now going to start giving her the actual sensors. I'm actually putting one on the headpiece right now. Now, again, this is the Accents of Windows Starter, which is the cheapest uh, mocap they have. And I'll just kind of place it. Now, as you can see right here, I have the sensors on the outside. Uh, usually, if you're doing, you know, like crazy combat stuff, you would want to tuck that sensor in so it doesn't get knocked out. But since for the, this shoot specifically, I can just have it out like that. But just so you know, if you need it to be inside, you can tuck that in inside as well so you can cover it. And what I'm giving her now is the belt that I was wearing. So the face good P1 does come with a belt, but I like this belt better because it already comes with a V-mount plate adapter now i used to use this in my black magic cinema camera days uh because you know the battery would run out so quick so i have this belt basically goes under your waist and it has a well, actually you can see it here a little bit better it has a v mount plate already in it and then the face good p1 system does come with uh like a small rig v mount adapter plate belt clip right here that you can actually put the transmitter just like we see here so we have the battery again the face good p1 already comes with this little face good battery right here this is 49 watt hour uh jello actually sent me another one so i have two and it is piping in powering this transmitter right here and that is clipped onto the belt like you see right here and additionally this is going to be powering the helmet as well that's why i put it on the back so it's not on our way and what I'm doing here now is I'm actually kind of showing her the calibration process of the X-Sense, a window. So I'm just kind of telling her to stand in an end post and then walk around when I tell her to do so. Now you can have the helmet on already at this portion, but honestly, uh, it doesn't matter. Again, for this example, I didn't need the helmet on for the calibration because this, uh, this headpiece right here where the sensor is, it's pretty locked down. But again, you can put the sensor on the helmet it's just totally up to you. All right, so this is the new calibration process for the X-Sense, which is actually a lot faster than before. Uh, you actually just have to stand still and then walk around, and that's pretty much it, which is insane. And this is the end pose. You want to kind of get your arms as straight as possible. Touching the thighs, to me, uh, works a lot better than it just kind of floating around. And uh, I think what I did what was I, and then what I'm doing here now is I'm actually having to redo it. And once she's redoing that calibration, I'm going to go ahead and set up my audio. 
So she's standing in an end pose right now, and then you're gonna see her. The new accents are when they actually prompts you to do what you have to do, and now she's good to go. She's doing a little dance in there, just kind of moving around. Um, I don't have finger tracking, so I know some of y'all were asking. I add the finger animation or hand animation in iClone using the gestures from iClone 8 or 7. And the last piece is going to be the Facegood P1 helmet. This is Facegood's helmet, wireless, uh, shoots 60 frames per second infrared, which is really, really nice and lightweight. And like I said in my post, I'm probably gonna bring like a bald cap next time. Maybe that will be a little bit better because obviously this is my first time using this helmet with, you know, a ponytail and things like that. I don't have to worry about that when I'm using the helmet itself. But, you know, for this, I just kind of have her hair hang like that. But next time, I'll probably bring like a bald cap. So we have everything set up. I also put the microphone on the back. Now I have the G3 lav set up right here, uh, just on the back side, so it's not blocking her away whenever she's kind of like moving around. And we did a quick test. As you can see, this is working nicely, just like that. Just kind of doing a little bit of uh, just kind of facial animation to test it out. And that's pretty much it. Now the total time for us to set this up from pretty much, you know, unpacking is 30 minutes, including helmet, body, everything, which is honestly not that bad. Obviously, if you have a lot more people, then it would go a little bit faster. But as you all know, I pretty much roll all by myself. But that is pretty much it. That is what my current body and facial animation uh, mocap system is right now. So as far as software goes, I'm using the Xsense Basic because that actually lets you record. And then I'm using the monthly motion cloud processing, which is actually now unlimited. So it's pretty sweet. Uh, so I am, so I don't have the professional software for y'all that are asking. So I'm just using the free version with motion cloud. It actually, actually expires in August. So I got to figure out like another way. And that's why I said this is my current setup right now. But honestly, in August, I'm not sure what my body mocap is going to be. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that kind of clarified a couple of things for y'all uh, as far as motion capture uh, system goes. This is what I'm rolling with right now. Pretty happy with it. Pretty quick setup. And the quality obviously is pretty superb.